Hey you all, Carpetbagger and Anna here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Knoxville, Tennessee. And we are outside something truly fantastic. Oh, didn't mean to cover your face there, sorry. Now, my entire life, I've been a fan of The Simpsons. When The Simpsons first aired, I watched the first episode as it aired live, or its initial run, and me and Bart Simpson were the same age. Now I'm a 34-year-old man, and Bart Simpson is still a 10-year-old boy. But one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons was the episode where Bart gets his driver's license, a 10-year-old boy with a driver's license. And where did he decide to go but to the Sun Sphere. The Sun Sphere. Now, in the Simpsons episode, they traveled to the Sun Sphere thinking the World Fair was still going on, believing that it contained an information desk. Cool. But when they arrived, they found that the decrepit Sun Sphere was now full of 16,000 boxes of unsold wigs and was called the Wig Sphere. Now me and Anna, we're going to take a journey up to the top of the Sun Sphere and find out if it contains an information desk, boxes of unsold wigs, or maybe something far more sinister. Let's go, Anna. Like junk. Stuff. There we go. All right. Four. You excited, Anna? Yes. What do you think is going to be in there? Information desk. I think there's old wigs. <laughs> Let's see. Three. 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 Two. One. And woo -hoo. All right. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Let's go to four. If you jump, this elevator will stop. You could be stuck for an hour and maybe fine. <laughs> What's wrong? Ooh, it dropped a little. And we are in the Sun Sphere. Like we're in the ball? Yeah. Oh. Can you go like higher up in the ball? There's offices upstairs for some reason. Oh. Did you know we get to walk right there? Next to a high Some drop ceiling here inside the Sun Sphere. What's a drop ceiling? Like, you know, like at school. Oh. Who's that? Who's what? Oh, God. Oh, I think that's that uh, lady basketball player. The Sun Sphere was actually built to celebrate the 1982 World's Fair. That is much like the Chicago World's Fair, only with no murder castles. What have you found most enjoyable about Knoxville? Annabelle. <laughs> uh, from here we can see the headquarters of the shadowy quasi-government agency, the Tennessee Valley Authority. What? What? All right, I'm gonna do a full walkthrough of the Sun Sphere. Sun Sphere, more like Fun Sphere. Hey Anna, show them your little your little Sun Sphere. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a little Sun Sphere. And a pencil sharpener. Ah. 
<laughs> As if people actually use pencils still. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Visit my website at www.thecarpetbagger.org. Appreciate it.